Hey Leo, welcome to your general love reading for Twin Flames this week, okay? Um, if you don't believe in Twin Flames, it could be your divine counterpart, divine soulmate, whatever connects with you, okay? <clears throat> I do have some water here. You are getting me post-workout, um, post-rock god concert um, for the dogs and my daughter. I sang a little, and of course, mostly for myself, I sang a little grouping of beautiful, beautiful tunes from my days. Started with a little wasp wild child, moved into um, Guns N' Roses, Welcome to the Jungle. Next up was Doro Pesh with All We Are. And the finale was um, Dio, Holy Diver. So, you know, my husband just kind of gave me looks of, what the hell is wrong with you? Right. My daughter laughed. The dogs were like, mommy going crazy. But it felt good because I've been cooped up in this house pretty much since February. I am waiting for this stuff to get done. And now they're talking about like Idaho and Utah are going to start sending their cases to Washington, to Seattle and Portland because our numbers are down. And I'm like, people, just get your shit together, okay? So this reading is just like every weekly general, okay? Same spread. I'm still starting out by pulling for the collective from my Mindset Unicorn, Mindset and Affirmation deck. The big difference, okay, is that I put in the intention for that divine connection to come through. And at the end, when I do the second round of clarifying, okay, I'm going to use my new Twin Flame Tarot deck that I created for, um, it's an archetype tarot deck from Mindset Unicorn, okay? So let's get started. I am an intuitive for those that are new here. Um, so what I see and bring to the reading may not be traditional tarot, okay? Um, I will use my inner knowing and spirit guides to pull energy from your frequency and through the cards, okay? So whenever you're watching it, if it resonates for you, that is because it was meant for you, okay? If it comes to you in two years and it resonates, that is when it was meant for you, okay? And here we go. All right, so for the collective, you get listen and journey. Okay, so I do feel like as the collective, I know I just had my glasses here. There they are. Um, okay, Leo, you are learning to listen to your gut, okay? And with the journey here, you are getting ready to begin anew, okay? Both of the channel messages on these are very short and sweet because they really are to the point, okay? Listen. Today, listen intently to your gut feelings, okay? The quote is longer, but it's about really being guided by your intuition, okay? Journey. The possibilities of your journey are endless. Today, be grateful for your past, which led you to the moment where your journey begins anew, okay? So we often forget to be grateful for how we got to this place. You know, it's not necessarily by accident, all right? It takes a lot of work one way or the other, all right? So the intention, existence, this is that magician's card, okay? But it's about the wish creating the alchemy, okay? Creating this new beginning for you. Overall energy. Okay, we've got the Three of Cups and the Five of Swords. So it can go either way, right? I feel like you have a choice. Are you going to 
take the celebration or end it, okay? And I feel like at the beginning here, you don't know, okay? Because in the past, I feel like you and this person that you may be ending things with or celebrating with, like there was a split. And um, I feel like it did break your heart. Okay, right now you are holding back, resisting from this person, even though you've come into the acknowledgement that this is that divine connection. Okay, future energy is about a rebirth, okay? Um, rising up into this new energy. So let's go ahead and clarify. Okay, you know, here's the deal. You're already heartbroken. I feel like this person is already heartbroken through this. And I feel like there's a lot of passion, a lot of lust, okay, within this connection. And I also feel like there's probably a lot of people, okay, within this connection. Take what resonates, leave the rest. Um, roles can be reversed in a general, um, and I could be picking up on the third party situation. Okay, but I feel like this person, okay, they watch and wait for you, and you turn away from them, but you are dreaming, okay, and fantasizing about this connection. I do feel like this person perhaps um, ran from this, okay? Perhaps this was too much, too overwhelming, your energy, and they took off, okay? Why the Three of Swords? Why the separation? Okay, lots and lots of inner childhood wounds that were being worked through. And I feel like that the connection, okay, the communication was starting to get passionate. And so perhaps your person is the one that um, kind of put the nail in the coffin I do feel like whatever relationship, if you were in one, okay, at the time that you met this person, it was a very long-term commitment, but it also, 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 it also feels like, um, for the most part, it's over, okay, with the Two of Cups in reverse. Okay, current energy here, resisting against this person, but recognizing, just the recognizing that this is your divine connection, I feel like that, all right, is a healing energy, ending a cycle here. It's opening up you to this truth. Knight of Swords, the thought, are you going to move forward or not? Seven of Wands, I do feel like this person is still waiting. Okay, they are still very connected to you. They are still very much in their thoughts about you. And um, I feel like they have been taking actions of some sort, could just be, you know, manifesting through the moon or something, but they're taking some sort of actions to try to keep this going. Okay. I do feel like as you go through this rebirth, okay, this person is going to still act like, you know, they are over this, 
that they are not paying any attention. They're just working on themselves, which is very deceptive, okay? Because they know that they're looking over their shoulders, looking back to see if you're coming, okay? If you're ever going to get there. All the work that they are putting in on themselves is in connection with this. They are just patiently waiting, trying to balance everything out to see if you're going to come forward, okay? Okay, here's the thing. There was work that needed to be done and um, there was work that wasn't being put into this. All right, the devil in reverse and king of pentacles in reverse on this three of swords. I feel like this person became very guarded against this because of inner childhood wounds, okay? However, they did not ever give up the hope because when you guys were together, it was as if nothing else existed, as if there was a very special communication between the two of you. And it was as if you were walking together into the center of the universe, like nothing else, okay, could compete with the way this person made you feel and how you made them feel, okay? Okay, I do feel like you felt kind of like a fantasy about what love was, okay? And the Ten of Cups in my deck that I created here is about transforming that thought about love so that you're seeing love as real life instead of romanticizing it, okay? And I feel like that was what needed to happen here, especially with this shadow work. But also letting go of the past with the three of swords again i really do feel like there was a third party in this and the reason why this you know this person got scared off and took off is because of the way that their feelings were starting to to happen for them okay queen of cups in reverse it was a trigger and they were not ready to deal with that full transformation, okay? Okay, in the past, two of cups in reverse. All right, four of cups and four of wands in reverse. I feel like, okay, the, the relationship that you had had before, okay, when you met this person, the obsession moved away from trying to make that work to what the heck is this over here, okay? But again, no decision was really made to move on past that. Even if you were already split up, okay, you still had that energy that you were dealing with. And there was no decision here with judgment to actually take and move on from that. Yeah. Okay, I feel like this person did make some sort of love offering to you, okay? You were enlightened. 
that there were feelings there. It could have been through a letter or a text message, um, an email, but I do feel like the communication was there and I feel like that scared your inner child. Okay, this person was very intuitive and um, I feel like they know, okay? They know how you feel. They know what you guys were creating together. And again, that was overwhelming for them. And so I feel like that's why without any, um, without you leaving behind the past energy, because you needed to heal, right? But it still triggered them enough to move on and that caused that Three of Swords. Okay, the end of the cycle here, all right? Healing the heart, recognizing what this is. Okay, Queen of Swords here. Putting down the sword, okay? Holding on to the truth, but putting down the truth here. As far as, you know, I'm not going to wear a deceptive mask anymore. No matter what sort of fight this brings up. And I do feel like you know, no matter what side this is on, even if it's on both sides, like, I feel like you're both to this point to be that you're ready to just like, I'm really done, like trying to hide all of this from you. I do feel like there was conflict between the two of you or is about to happen between the two of you, okay? Mostly because the Knight of Swords here, okay, so we've got the Queen of Swords and the Knight of Swords, so um, one of you could be younger than the other or less awake than the other, okay, and trying to catch up. So I do feel like, okay, the one, right, is like holding on to this truth, suddenly seeing, oh, hmm, maybe I need to go fight for that. The sword is up. Okay, but we've got the feminine here, okay? The queen here has that deep need for roots and connection. And so I do feel like there was conflict here with the Five of Swords because someone needs a pack. Someone needs, that's what this person I feel like requires in a relationship, okay? They need that connection. They need that pack, okay? And yes, again, confirmation, the lovers. This is your person, but I do feel like, okay, the hurt here, from whatever happened in the past is not over and someone is still disconnected from this and I feel like it's you, okay? Again, high priestess looking over the shoulder, pretending like they're not, you know, they don't care, they're moving on, but continuing to look back. Are you coming? Okay. There is a decision to a swords that needs to be made here, one way or the other, through this rebirth. I do feel like you are really watching. Okay. You've been pulled back. You've been watching, getting the big picture. Okay. You're a big picture type of person. You want to know where is this going? Okay, you're looking for that illumination. And as you're getting the illumination, three of wands, there's that slow movement forward. Okay, doing the work on your inner child, 
and slowly allowing your heart to open a little bit so that you can move forward. Okay. Let's see what the universe says here. Yeah, okay, I do feel like this is about getting your head straight, okay, about what this means and clearing it from whatever the past was, okay? With the Ten of Pentacles here and the Four of Swords, there's still energy here from a previous heartbreak that this heartbreak has triggered that you really have to work out. And this could go all the way back to when you were a little kid, okay? But it's re-triggered, re-traumaed you, all right? But here you are, okay, showing up in your reading. You're coming into your own strength. You're healing your inner divine masculine, divine feminine, okay? Coming into your own synergy so that when you make a choice, you're doing it from a very healthy place, okay? Yeah, you have concerns about this. Perhaps it's because of the way this person has acted in the past, okay? Perhaps it's because you don't really see where this is going. You're being guided, okay? You have a voice in this. Speak your concerns. Voice your concerns. Open up to this person and um, allow yourself to get answers. Even if you open up to your higher self for answers, if you don't feel like you can go to this person, okay? Allowing yourself to just ask and voice your truth, I feel like is going to make a huge difference for you in how you're going to feel about this. Now, again, you're, I do see you moving slowly forward, okay, towards this person. And this person feels like they are moving away, but they are continuing to look back. So I'm going to move into the extended and I'm going to look at the flip side and see, you know, what's the underlying energy? Like what, why is this person moving away? Okay. Is there a reason? Are they running? Are they the runner? Okay. Um, what's, going on with this storyline that maybe you're not seeing and get a little bit more clarity into the situation. All right. So the link is down below in the description box and on my Patreon program, you will get, um, once you pay for the one, you're actually getting all of the videos for the rest of the month, as well as the videos from earlier in the month. Um, so and then if you decide next, there's another cross-watching video you would like to listen to, you've got access to that too. All right. So I'm going to move that extended and I hope that this helped you. All right. Bye, Leo.